Hi everybody, I'm Laura Park with PrivateScubaLessons.com, America's Best Scuba Expert. And I'm here today to talk to you about a good snorkeling experience. You have to have a good snorkeling experience to even want to try scuba diving. So it's so important to have a good experience. And a good experience snorkeling is based on three factors. Proper fitting mask. And you can watch my other YouTube videos where I go over how to fit a proper fitting mask. A comfortable pair of fins. There's no fins that you want to have either have discomfort, pinching, or burning in them. Just like an uncomfortable pair of shoes, an uncomfortable pair of fins will have you have a bad experience. And three is you need a good sea conditions. And that goes along with talking to a professional on a boat that gives you uh, truthful and honest answers about what the conditions are like. And again, I have another YouTube video on assessing sea conditions for yourself. And everyone needs to do that. But today I want to tell you a couple things to do when your mask floods or if your snorkel floods due to bad sea conditions, typically. And I'm going to demonstrate this right now in the pool. Uh, one thing is, when I'm not wearing my mask, I want to wear it around my neck. Because if you wear it, and the mask happens to be on your forehead like this, a wave can come along and take your mask off your face. And as you can see, it sinks right to the bottom. Then you will have lost your mask and the money that you paid for it. Because now you have no mask to go underwater to try to find it. So two things, that you hold it around your neck just like I had it, and if that's uncomfortable for you, then you wear it just like this on your head, because then if a wave comes by, it typically will not get knocked off your face. A comfortable pair of fins, we already talked about that in one of my other videos. But now I'm going to teach you how to properly don your equipment. You want to take your mask, get all the water out, put anti-defog in it, okay? To clear your snorkel, you must pretend that you're in the watermelon seed spitting contest and into the snorkel just like this. And then the third element is, is to have a proper kick. Now a lot of people like to bicycle with their fins and I'm going to show you what that is. This is bicycle, okay, this is an inefficient use of your fins and not only that, it will make you winded. So you'll be out of breath and not have a good time, and especially in the water, that's not some place that you want to do that. So the proper kick is actually the scissors kick, which is what we do when you swim freestyle on the water, or called the flutter kick. And it's basically straight legs with slightly bent knees and flex your ankle at the bottom of the downstroke. Okay, and I'm going to demonstrate that right now. I put on my mask, clear my snorkel, okay? And if you ran out of breath and you can't spit into your snorkel to clear it, then you're going to come to the surface, dump out the water like so, and put it back in. But I'm going to demonstrate the proper kick. No arms. You're going to let the strongest muscle in your legs propel you. And just take your time. You don't have to go fast. Just like this. want to turn around, you just pivot and turn. And the most important thing is breathe normally in this tube, okay? The reason you want to have your own mask and fins and snorkel is if you rent them from the boat, people have used these. 
so many times and they drop them. And people that have dropped a mask can crack the frame. And if the frame leak cracks, it will leak. And it will leak water. So just like I told you, if you don't have enough breath to come up and clear your snorkel or spit into it, you're going to tip the water out like that. And the same with the mask. We teach you how to clear your mask in scuba diving, but in snorkeling you can come to the surface. Just let the water out like that. Clear the snorkel and breathe normal into it. Now quickly, in case some of you like to go underneath the water, you're going to feel the water pressure on your ears. So you want to pinch your nostrils and blow through your pinched nostrils. But when I come up, that's when I want to spit into the snorkel and clear it. So you're going to watch me do that. Ready? It's that easy, my friends. And I'm happy to coach you to have a good snorkeling experience so you'll want to try scuba diving. It's been my experience that people have bad snorkeling experiences. They get water in their eyes and up their nose from an improper fitting mask. They get aspirate water because they haven't been properly instructed by a snorkeling boat on how to clear that. And scuba diving and snorkeling is some of the best attractions that we have here in South Florida. So I want you to have a good time so you'll come back and experience Florida for yourself. This is Laura Park with PrivateScubaLessons.com. You can call me and ask me any questions or text me at 954-547-4818. I'm America's Best Scuba Coach. Thanks for tuning in.